हेलो हियर इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड द क्वेश्चन इज इंटरेस्ट ऑन ए सम कंपाउंडेड एट अ रेट ऑफ थ्री परसेंट एनुअली फॉर टू इयर्स इज रुपीज वन एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो व्हाट वुड बी द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑन द सेम प्रिंसिपल इन द सेम टाइम विद द सेम रेट ऑप्शन सर ऑप्शन वन रुपीज नाइन्टी ऑप्शन टू नाइन्टी रुपीज ऑप्शन थ्री रुपीज हंड्रेड ऑप्शन फोर रुपीज एंड ऑप्शन फाइव नन ऑफ दिस We have given the following data: sum is equal to the principal and compound interest is equal to rupees one hundred one point five zero. Rate is equal to three percent per annum and time is equal to two years. We have to find simple interest on the same sum, on the same rate, three percent per annum and in the same time two years. Now first we have to find the principal by using the ratio method. We have given the rate three percent per annum. So first. we have to change the 3% into the ratio and the in the ratio it can be written as 3 upon 100 now we have to calculate the principal p is equal to 100 to the square for the 2 years is equal to 10000 unit when we have to find for the 3 years the principal will be 100 to the cube okay next now we have to find the simple interest and compound interest on the sum 10000 unit which we have calculated the rate will be 3% per annum for the first year the simple interest on the sum 10000 unit equal to 300 unit and also compound interest equal to 300 unit because of for the first year simple interest and the compound interest remains same For the second year, simple interest equal to 300 unit, and the compound interest is the interest on interest equal to 9 unit. Here, simple interest for the two years equal to 600 unit, 300 unit for the first year, and the 300 unit for the second year. The sum is equal to 600 unit for two years, and the compound interest equal to 609 unit. 300 unit for the first year and 309 unit for the second year total compound interest for the two years is 609 unit and also we have given the compound interest in rupees which is equal to 101.50 then we can equals the both 600 unit sorry 609 unit is equal to rupees 101.50 then we can calculate the value of one unit one unit is equal to rupees 101.50 upon 609 unit so simple interest we have calculated 600 unit on the sum 10000 unit now we have to calculate in rupees the simple interest equal to simple interest is equal to rupees 101.50 upon 609 into 600 because of rupees 101.50 upon 609 is the value for one unit and overall 600 unit so multiplied with 600 overall the result result calculated rupees 100 so finally the rupees 100 is the simple interest and it is the answer of this question it means option number 3 is the correct answer of this question of this answer of this question thank you